Okay, so before we looked at using a hand drawing and kind of a rough lock, let's just zoom over here so we can see it again. So we had that very rough look, but we might want that in a logo. Sometimes that can be quite cool. But now let's also look at how we're going to make a, a very tight and accurate drawing. And that's good because it, depending on your theme or what you're after or what the client wants, they might want a tight, accurate kind of technical drawing. I call it technical drawing. It's not There's no real word for it. But this is created in Illustrator. You can see here I'm starting to make it over here. I'm using circles to create that shape. The same as you might draw anything at any at any stage. So I've got this drawing here which is locked underneath. So this drawing here I've put in here, if I unlock it and show you. So unlock, there it is there. So it's set in here, I've put, put it in here. And see the opacity up here is down to 27% because I don't really want to, I'm not using that, it's just as a guide for a start. So again I'm going to lock that selection. I've got my things in here, I'm drawing these with this, this shape tool over here. So this tool here, we can, um, I'm going to bring it over here, we're going to use all these tools to, to create shapes. I'm going to use that tool and this tool, the pen tool, to make things. Now I, I can't be bothered creating the knife and the fork because they're quite complicated. So I'm just going to be a bit lazy, I'm going to use that spoon a couple of times. I'm just going to copy that spoon a couple of times and we'll just make it a bigger shape. I'm just and we'll put that in there. That's a similar shape to that one. Um, we might try making this fork. Actually, what I'm going to do with that spoon is just spin it around. Just to add a bit of variety. We'll keep things similar, but not too similar. So I'll spin that around and put it upside down. Bring it in like that. Now, I'll just show you how you can make these things by making this um, fork here. So if we get the this shape and the oval shape so I'm just pulling that shape down I'm trying to make something similar to this fork I'm not too concerned about getting it exactly right at this stage so I'm just going to pull that fork shape around there um, and then there's another one down the bottom keep it nice and simple put that there I'm going to line the two of them up line in the middle so I'm going to use my line tool over here which I use all the time see it just coming across to a line there all I'm going to do very simply is draw a line across the bottom now this technique that I'm showing you here um, is quite a good little quick technique so what you do is you just drawing lines in here um, and we're going to move these lines around later on so it doesn't really matter that they're not exactly right to get them right, the most powerful tool. You see they're exactly right now. Now I'm just doing this bit here by eye. So I'm going to zoom in here and make sure that that's about right. So this is what you're always doing, you know. You, to get things really good, you, you need to be detail oriented. You need to come in close and have a look. And this takes time. If you're not interested in doing this kind of thing, you shouldn't be a designer. It's basically like that. You have to do this kind of thing all the time. So you're coming in, I, I think maybe we're a wee bit too close now, pull them apart, same on the other side. So that's basically my shape, I'm just going to put two curves in here, now I'm going to draw these curves myself in here by eye, so I'll just show you my look here. I could use curves and go the other way, but I just think the fastest way is to do this. And now I'm going to go from here to about here, so I'm going to use a couple of guides again. Okay, so I'm going to pull down a couple of guides. We go to about there. And another guide on the other side. I'm just doing this by eye. You could be more accurate and get this exactly right. So now I'm going to get my point from right in the middle of there. And then come to here and just pull that curve in. Just so I get a nice curve in there that I'm quite happy with. Yep, happy with that. That'll do. So what I do now is I just copy that, control copy, and I'm using these illustrator tools over here. I'm going to come and get the reflect tool into there. And now when I zoom out, there's my basic fork. It's missing it. Don't worry about this bit at the end. I'm going to get that later on. So I'm going to come in and group that. Control group. And I've got that. I've got my fat spoon here, which I still think is far too fat. I'm going to make that a bit narrower again. And I'm just going to replicate those shapes. I'm going to group it and switch it around, spin it around. 
and then I'm going to have another spoon. So the original drawing had knives and forks. I've just been a bit lazy because I can't be bothered trying to draw a fork in there. So I've got them all lined up and now I want the head in here. So when I draw the head, I'm going to zoom in over here. I'm going to need to do... I'm going to come and show you a couple of wee tricks you can do here as well. So to get this looking right, I'm going to just hold down shift and get a few circles because there's quite a few circles in this head. So there's three circles in a triangle that I've, that I've used to really to make this head. So one over here. Now the original drawing had it down the bottom. I'm going to have it sort of in the middle a bit more to a line left. Got it exactly left. Did you see that? And then I'm going to use them and distribute horizontally. No, I don't want that. So I'm going to group these two first and then distribute horizontally. So I'm going to group that one there and then that. And now, see that's got it exactly right. Now that's the exact corner right there. And now I want a triangle shape around the edge of these, but I can just use those, as, and I'm going to make that into a guide. So then I go gu view, guides, make guides. So now I use them as my guides, and I'm going to use this drawing tool here. And I just go around here. You've got to be a wee bit careful when you use this tool that you don't do too many. So then I'm going to get my curve coming over to about here. And then pull it around a wee bit here. I want it to I want these anchor points that end up aiming the way the next one's going. So then I come into here, pull these anchor points around a wee bit. I'll join that up there. And there we go, that's my shape there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this middle shape. I'm just going to do this real fast by eye. So I'm going to hold down shift, and when I hold down shift it creates it exactly straight. See that there? And then I might just put a little eye curve on there. And that's close, because I'm trying to get this look now very angular and exact using tools. So there we go, we've drawn those. See the spit's a bit weird here, but that's okay. I can go and change that later if I wanted. Um, and now... I want a rounded box tool for down the middle, but just before I do the middle, I now want to check to make sure I've got these all grouped. Are these all grouped? Yes, they are. Because I'm after a very exact look here, I'm going to come and change a few things over here. I want to get this layout right. So I'm going to delete these points away, which I made before. And now I'm going to just make sure these are all aligned right here. So I'm going to use that tool. So let's go through and do these things again. So we group that way and we split that way. I want these middle four, these middle ones all. Now let's horizontally distribute. There we go, that's good. And now I'm going to move the tail back a wee bit. And now I want my final shape, which is this one. I'm going to use this right through the middle. Again, I'm not worried too much about it overlapping at all. I want that exactly in the middle of these two bits though. So I'm going to select all the things I wanted in the middle of that. And the fish head is very important that they all line up. So see that change quite a bit there? That's good. Now I'm ready. Now I'm going to un undo. I'm going to unlock all. And let's get rid of that shadow. Original shape. Let's get rid of the guides. We don't need the guides anymore. Okay, so there's my shape. Still not happy with that eye. Might ungroup that. And now I'm quite happy with my shape. Um... So, but not happy with the colour, obviously. So I'm going to change that red to black now. Could have had it black before. It was just easier to see sometimes at that point. Three point, I always like nice thick lines. So I'm going to go right up to five point there on that look. So now we get tricky. Now we come in and do some other things. So now I've got my drawing here all set to go. So in order to get rid of fun, some of these funny lines, I'm going to do this. So we need to follow this. Oh, object, live, paint, make object live paint expand yes that's what we want and now we can't change anything on the outside but we can do something very cool we can come and take get rid of all these points here so see it's made all these points in here which is exactly what we want so i can now get rid of that but only with the the selection tool so this one here and then i delete that point cool isn't it and so i'm going to be deleting a few points so then I'm going to come in here I want to 
So this selection tool, remember, come in here, get that one, delete, get rid of it, delete, here, delete, cool, we're looking good now, aren't we? Get this one here, get rid of that. You can come in like this and select them all like that too. Same thing down the bottom. So now you see what's going to happen here. I'm going to get rid of these points over here. So I'm just going to come in like that. And I'm just moving my way around the shape. at the other stage but now we see it don't we and it is this nice solid rounded shape now again I might try and add a stroke to that make it a bit thicker still because I as I said before I like this really thick look so that's me that there's my look and now we do the next bit which is the same as before we go select all you need to go over here and check if this is working sometimes it's working sometimes it's not if it's not working live paint hasn't been made so we need to go here object live paint make now it should be good we select that tool and we're good we can color in all these bits again okay so the same as before let's go through the same colors and see what it looks like make the whole eye black so that's it there. So there's the same basic design, but now made. So that's it there. And if we compare it to the other one, let's pull them across so you can see them side by side and you can decide which kind of image you like better. Obviously, we might change the colors around, but you see there's quite a different look there, isn't there? Straight away, we take that away. It's decide what kind of a look we want but there is it we've got two very very different looks um, with the same kind of image I think I might like that one